This is a brake booster sensor on most Chevrolet's RGM products. It's a three wire variable voltage. So you're gonna have a reference, a ground, and a variable voltage. For, so the first thing I did is do a complete code scan because I wanted to see if there's any other codes in any other modules through the system. So you can see that there is a C0299 brake booster pressure sensor performance. So the first thing you want to do is actually check to see if there's any TSBs. Anytime you have a sensor or a code that has a problem, you need to check to see if there's any TSBs on that code. See on this code, there was a TSB on it for a possible vacuum leak. This is why it's very important to see if there's any TSBs because it can fix a lot of problems quickly. Here's a schematic of your brake booster sensor. On this one, you can see pin one is a signal, pin two is zero volts or ground, and pin three is your source, which is usually five volts. On this, I like using a dual trace scope. So on channel number one, I would like to put it on 10 volts because I want to check the five volt source to make sure it doesn't drop down. And on channel number two, I like to use five volts to watch the pattern go down. And I always leave it around five seconds. So you don't have to leave it at five seconds. You can put it really where you want to put it. But then I like to also look on the computer side. So what I do is minimize my scope and then go to the scanner side. So I find my brake booster PID and bring it up and put it into a graph mode. Then I bring my scope back up and put it side by side. So to do a split screen on a Zeus, you just take the corner of your scope and you slide it all the way to the right end and it will split the screen for you. Then you just click on your data PIDs to bring the other one back up to the other side. So when you hit the brakes, you can see on your computer side that PSI goes up. But when you hit the brakes on your scope, your scope voltage drops down to one, one volt. You can see where the variable comes in and out every time you hit the brakes. So you also got to know that the RPMs or the engine running will affect the booster at the same time. So what I'm going to do is just going to bring my RPMs to my PID and I'll have the scope to the other side. And as I give it gas on and off, you'll watch the voltage change on the booster. This sensor is good. You can see that there is no glitches in the pattern and everything was nice and smooth. This one actually had an O-ring around the master cylinder that was leaking, which was given that code. So use this voltage to check your brake booster sensor today. Thanks for watching my YouTube. I hope this helps you. I just want to kind of help you guys learn how to use electrical to diagnose cars. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It doesn't hurt. Thanks. Bye.